All right, breaking tonight, the man on trial uh, in the killing of a New Orleans police officer has been found guilty of first degree murder, at murder after more than a week of testimony. WDSU's Courtney Williams is live and was in the courtroom when the verdict was handed down. Courtney, tell me what were the emotions of Darren Bridges as the verdict was being read? Well, I can tell you right before the verdict was read, you could hear a pin drop in the courtroom. That's just how quiet it was. And Darren Bridges showed absolutely no emotions as the unanimous guilty verdict for first degree murder was handed down. Now Bridges faces a mandatory life sentence. He was also convicted of intent to distribute cocaine, possession charges, obstruction of justice and an attempt of aggravated assault. Now during closing arguments, District Attorney Jason Williams told the jury that Bridges executed McNeil and he says Darren Bridges was given a fair trial, but the defense attorney says they do plan to appeal. Make no, make no bones about it. Darren Bridges is a murderer. Uh, he murdered Marcus McNeil. He executed him. Uh, you could see it on the video. He could have walked away after wounding him. Uh, and so we will vigorously fight any appeals that are taken. Uh, but Darren Bridges got a fair trial. Well, it's not the outcome we expected, but we respect the jury's verdict and uh, you know we respectfully disagree with that verdict. I think the whole trial was hard on Darren having to rewatch having to rewatch what happened and and knowing what the sentence is is especially hard on him and hard on his family as well. Now, Bridges' sentencing date is set for November 2nd, but under Louisiana law, the only sentencing options for a conviction of first-degree murder are death by lethal injection or life in prison at Angola without the possibility of probation or parole. Death was an option, but former District Attorney Leon Canizaro took that off the table to speed up the trial. Now, as Darren Bridges' family exited the courtroom, I asked them how they felt about the guilty verdict. However, they declined to comment, but you could see heavy emotions on the their faces. Reporting in New Orleans, Courtney Williams, WDSU News.